Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching CJ of video. Today I created this radial timer uh, material in Unreal Engine. So we have now this uh, radial wipe. We, we can change the color. We can change the outer color. And we can make the number of blocks higher and lesser. We can change the uh, thickness and gap between these. So this all thing you will learn in this tutorial. This is step by step from the basic and this basic tutorial. So let's start this. So let's start this. So this is material tutorial. So I'll just right click and make a material and radio timer. I'll just open this and on a planner and I'll just connect it here and make an instance also. And this is planar. We our parameter will refract here when we'll create. So I'll make this unlit. You can make it also transparent, but uh, we just want to visualize it on black. So I'll just use opaque for now. Okay. So this is a radial and to make a ring in Unreal Engine material, there are lots of ways and I have already covered lots of ways in my tutorials. If you'll check. So let's say you have a radial and if I connect this, this is how it looks. First thing you can take a sign. It will make a ring for you. Second thing. You can subtract from one another. You can make a smaller and a bigger. And third one, if you take this same texture UV, uh, sorry, material radial and connect these UVs together, you will have a ring. So there are lots of ring, but this lo ring looks, uh, I think, better. So we can use it. And to make it sharp, I'll take the tap node and just connect it here. And then this value will we like how much thickness you want and if this is black you can just use it in x and then change the value from the y like 0.2 so it will be now black ring white ring sorry so let's say this is our outer ring outer ring okay and default value is 0.2 and i'll just connect it here and let's save it and here I want this around maybe this much 0 0.98 0 0.99 I want this much so I'll just put the default value 0 0.99 then I need something here that blocks that make a ring so for that uh, again there are lots of ways but uh, what you can do is take a vector to radial and you can use this vector converted angle and if I just visualize it so if I'll show you uh, this will be like a clockwise uh, thing a gradient and if you want to repeat that you can just multiply it and then take a frac and when you put a value in multiply so this is now one so it's just repeating one one time if you make it two it will repeat that gradient two times. If I this is five, it will repeat that five times, right? So now again, I'll take a frac, uh, sorry, step, and this will be like uh, the gap between uh, these blocks. So I'll call it gap. Let's call it just gap, and I'll just connect it here. So now if I make this like 0.2, this is the gap, and this is number of blocks. So number of blocks and by default let's say it's 10 so you have this so now you have this and you have a ring but i want it also uh, from a ring so what you can do you can just duplicate this this is outer ring right i'll copy this and paste this here or you can just use it from here because it has separate parameters you can make the separate parameter for this one so you have this now so i'll call it block ring and if i multiply that block ring because this is also ring and if i multiply it with this it will cut through the, this ring these blocks like this okay and we can uh, change the ring thickness of course so i'll just connect this here for now and save and now you can see I have these parameters. So this is number of blocks. This is gap. 
and this is thickness which we can use like this but remember our uh, actual ring outer ring is also on the same position so that i want little bigger okay so to make it bigger uh, there are uh, ways to do it you can change the radius so let's say i change uh, i connect this one again and let's not do it and i want to make it bigger so if i change the radius which is by default 0.5 and let me check if i make it point, point 0.2 it's smaller now so that means it's a it's a parameter so i'll call it outer ring size and by default i'll put 0.6 so this is it and now we can add these together this thing and this thing and save again and now you have this so this size you can decrease and increase and let me just uh, make the block ring a little thicker like this much or this much then we can make this size this much now it looks cool we have to now make the separate color for this and this and then a, and a slider on it so these are my default value so i'll multiply this one the outer ring and make a parameter of color outer ring color by default i'll use blue sorry blue and connect this here and for this one i will also multiply it with the color uh, actually i want to make it a uh, dark little bit first so i will connect multiply it with a parameter block you can say shade how much they are bright by default i'll put it one for now and let's just save it so now we have this block shade so we can make it darker like this much and we have oh we didn't connect it here and let's connect this also uh, or maybe let's save it first so now it has now different color i can use this and make it brighter maybe this much and this is now darker now we need some color on it also so what we can do this is darker and i'm now multiplying this with a color convert it uh, block color and let's say by default it's red and then i will add it on it but before adding it we want to like uh, make a slider that cut it through so we had this uvs so if I preview that again, this is like clockwise gradient. So instead of multiplying, if I take the step and just use this and make a parameter radial wipe, or you can, oh, my keyboard, radial wipe, and just connect it. And then that radial wipe, I will multiply with this color then I will add I hope this is clear and then I will add it here let me show you so now let's put some values in the radial wipe and this color we can of course change maybe 5 maybe Maybe we can make it green, uh, pure green, like this, and we have this pipe. Cool. And number of blocks is should be like a integer number, twenty five, so it's not cutting. And this is it. Now you can change color, thickness, everything you want. So I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning, and bye bye.